Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you something called D-Band, aka Derek's Nuke and Boot. And what this program does is it wipes your hard drive or any other drive that you have in there, whether it be an SSD, uh, hard, uh, a spinner, SATA, or PATA. So, um, as you can see, my screen is green. I'm having a problem with the cable. I know what it is. I do have to fix it. I will fix it. I will fix it at a later date. Um, I had a little bit of time, so I'm making this video. So, anyway, it is fine. It is not the monitor. Uh, I installed a old graphics card in the PCI slot, so I know what it is. I'll just have to pull that out and everything will be okay nothing to worry about so anyway um, I boot I started this video off in the BIOS so you could see everything perfectly so um, just to as usual when you boot alright so everything is still the same So we're going to go into the software since I already have it in the drive. I originally was going to do this video with my SSD, but it was going to take seven hours. And I didn't have time to wait to do the end of the video. So I am using a thumb drive and we will see if that works because. Okay, so. About D-Band. All right, it says the software is irrecoverably destroys data. Basically, this is a digital version of lighting paper on fire. I don't com I don't recommend doing that, r lighting paper on fire, because you could hurt yourself. So don't do that. But anyway, th just use that as an ex example to visualize what's going on. So here's what you can do. You can press the F2 key to learn about D-Band. Um, you can press F3, F3, excuse me. Uh, for a list of quick commands, press the F4 key to read RAID disclaimer. Press enter to start D-Band in interactive mode. Uh, you could do it automatically, but I like interactive mode so you know what's going on. Um, with computers, if you set up a script and have it automatically do it, it's going to do all sorts of things. You're going to go, whoa, wait a minute. What am I supposed to do here? So I am going to push enter. Now, this is a Linux-based software, as you can see. Windows would not launch itself like that. Now, I do have a thumb drive in here, and if it recognizes that, I'm going to do that. I know it recognizes SSDs, even though I was told by somebody, I wrote, oh, it doesn't work. I said, yeah, it does. But not all software will do it, depending on the version. Ah, it fixed itself. That's pretty interesting. You notice how clear it was when it went into here. I wonder if the uh, it's the video card then that's having issues because it's fine here. It's a cable comes loose. That's no big deal. It's just it'll creep you out when you see it. So we are still loading here. And this does take a little bit of time, unfortunately. Alright, so it does not recognize the USB. So I'm not going to go 100% on this because it would just take way too long. 
but I am what I am going to do is I'm going to run the program for a little bit just to show you how it works so as you can see it says add a disk Kingston add a you, you can either put an S in front of that or a P in front of that PADA is IDE as I stated in other videos and S is SATA it just recognizes this is ADA if I forget what the letters actually mean that is the one thing I forgot but anyway so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna scroll down we're gonna push enter and it's white uh, so we're gonna do M for method we're going to do a quick erase now the reason I want to do that is I don't want to take forever to erase uh, so because the sake of this video is just to show the video uh, excuse me the process sorry I worked a 10 hour day today um, just to show you how it works because if you go too long, that's how people get uninterested in your video. So anyway, we're going to go to, we're going to push the up arrow. We're going to go to quick erase. Now, before I go any further than this, here's how this works. You have quick erase. This I've never actually seen before. Most programs I've used, I've never seen that. You have DOD short, which is quick erase it goes over it three times it's like cleaning up after cooking you have DOD 520M which is more you have DOD you have gut men which is like basically tearing down a house and rebuilding it and you have PRNG stream uh, I've never actually used that one before uh, I've used other wipe dry programs but I've never used this one um, Gutman, there is, before I launched process here, there is a program from Webroot. Unfortunately, it's not compatible with Windows 10, but you can install it and create uh, the uh, disk to erase. It's called Window Washer. And you can have, the, it's really easy to use. It's very, very simple. Uh, if you've never done anything like that before, I would recommend that program as well as this one. Because this one's actually straightforward as well. So without further ado, let's do the quick erase. So I'm going to push enter. And the method has changed. Now the quick erase is real easy. It's like going across your countertop with a washcloth and cleaning it. So... Now, I am going to launch it. Now this is a very, 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 very simple program, and that's what I like about it. Now, to go over a few things here, this is a Linux kernel, and, and I've stated this in my other videos. The Linux kernel is the basically what System 30, um, it's the, not System 32, it's the environment. You can change the environment. So if you have kernel 1, which is this environment, kernel 2, which is this environment. Uh, the way Windows and Linux works, I think I've explained this in another video. With Linux, the environment changes. The system does not. In Windows, the environment is the same. The system changes. So, PRNG. Oh, I see what that is. Okay. Mez Twister. Mercedes Seni Twister. Quick erase. Verify. Last pass. Rounds one. 
So I'm only going to do this once. So it's telling me it's going to take two hours, but I'm only going to run it for a little bit here because I don't want to make this video too long here. But it is moving relatively quickly. Okay, so when this is close to being done, I will come back and do my video there. All right, so we have three minutes left till it's done. As you can see, the time up here is how long that this program has been running. It's at the top right hand corner. Um, if this computer was a little newer, it would be a lot less time. But unfortunately, this is what, what I got to work with. So that's why it took so long. So. And the time remaining is two minutes. This is the throughput. That's the load averages right there. So. That's why I cut the video because I didn't want to. Uh. Even though I probably would have edited it out, I didn't want to um, because it gets boring after a while watching this. So that's why I do the very beginning and I do the very end so that way nobody gets bored. And right over here is the kilobits per second that it's working on right now. And the bigger the file, the longer it takes on that particular file. As with any other program. And as you can see, it recognizes the gigabits, gigabytes, excuse me, gigabits is something different, gigabytes right there. So we are at 99%. And now we have 10 seconds left.
and there we go so now it told me it was successful and I could select a USB drive to store logs but I am not going to do that if you ever use this you can do that um, as you can see it passed this is all selected this have been wiped and yes you can wipe more than one at once uh, hardware clock start date where I'm at right now it is Wednesday of the filming of this video uh, it is 919 finish date 21 10 it's not exactly right due to the CMOS battery um, and it passed so you're done I am not going to save it to the flash drive because I'm going to use the flash drive for something else so if I pull the drive out it's not going to do anything and it says press zero to continue so that's what I'm going to do and this is the ad for the program itself so I used a free version of it uh, that is the whole what they call the home version if I was running an enterprise edition you don't use home software in an enterprise environment why is that because as I've stated before in an enterprise environment you get audited Microsoft audits you and you get audited by other companies uh, wherever your city is located so that's why you don't want to use the free stuff so we're gonna push enter and that didn't work so I'm gonna do so that's why so it's gonna make me restart the computer so Anyway, that is it for this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and click that bell for more notifications.